Moscow's highest court has rejected an appeal against the arrest of a woman charged with a bomb attack that killed an influential Russian military blogger. 26-year-old Daria Trapova is accused of using an explosive concealed in a statuette to kill Vladan Tatarsky in a cafe in St. Petersburg. Tatarsky was an ardent supporter of the war in Ukraine who filed reports in the fighting from the front lines. We can speak now to the journalist Yulia Shapovalova, who joins me now from Moscow. Yulia, what happened in court today? So, as we understand, uh, Daria Trepova will remain in jail as the Moscow City Court has made a decision to leave her behind bars at the detention center, recognizing the legitimacy of her arrest. Uh, the court was holding a closed hearing on the appeal filed earlier this month by Daria's defense team. Uh, at the beginning of the meeting, she said that she regretted that the tragedy had taken place and wished a speedy recovery to the victims of the blast. Uh, she didn't say, though, when whether uh, she pleaded guilty or not, uh, Trepova is accused of committing a terrorist attack, uh, you're right, that killed military blogger and a very staunch supporter of Russia's military operation in Ukraine, Vladlen Tatarsky, whose real name was Maxim Fomin, and he died on April the 2nd following an explosion at a cafe in the center of St. Petersburg, where he was meeting his supporters and social media followers. Uh, Forty other people were wounded uh, back then. Uh, as we know, a statuette given to Tatarsky as a gift exploded in his hands. And according to investigators, it was brought to the cafe by Daria Trepova, who is convicted now. Uh, she's a 26-year-old woman from St. Petersburg who was living in Moscow at the time of the terror attack. And she was detained the very next day and arrested for two months. Yulia, from what I understand, Daria is not the only suspect in this case. How is the criminal investigation going? Um, we have the information that Daria was cooperating with the investigation while being held at the detention center. Uh, and we also, of course, know that the FSB immediately blamed the Ukrainian special services for the attack right after it happened. Uh, they also named an alleged organizer of the explosion, a Ukrainian citizen who presumably arrived in Russia from Ukraine uh, via Latvia. He handed over the figurine to Daria Trepova using a delivery service. And it was said that uh, the next day after the explosion, the man left Russia for Turkey via Armenia. Uh, the FSB also blamed members of the anti-corruption fund founded by Russia's prominent uh, opposition activist and politician Alexei Navalny, who's now serving his nine-year prison term in a Russian jail. So the FSB claimed that Daria committed a terrorist attack inspired by, um, by uh, repeated calls by the leaders of uh, the anti-corruption fund. Um, so the fund obviously uh, denied those allegations. According to them, the Russian authorities want to place additional blame on Alexei Navalny and accuse him of terrorism and extremism, uh, the accusations that can prolong his prison term. Uh, Ukraine also denied its involvement, uh, calling the attack domestic terrorism. So we're here following the developments in Moscow. Thank you for that. Journalist Yulia Shapovalova joining us there from Moscow.